yes, I mean, we've had problems with literacy in this country for a long time. Uh, there's a large number of kids who really don't gain very good reading skills, and that's that's been the story in the U.S. for decades. But the pandemic just really magnified everything. So, you know, learning to read involves just think of the impact of the pandemic on learning to read. It has an impact on a lot of things, but um, in terms of reading, uh, what took a hit during the pandemic? Well, one thing was the kids' exposure to spoken language, like who they were talking with, how much they were talk talked to, uh, whether the parents had time to interact with their children, uh, the amount that parents and other caregivers interact with children and talk with them, uh, has a huge impact on their spoken language, and then that has an impact on their learning to read. That took a huge hit. Another thing, learning to read in the early stages, there's a certain amount of instruction that's involved. The kid has to be helped to figure out what they have to learn in order to be able to read. And what they have to learn is something about print and how it relates to the spoken language they already know. Well, that requires some instruction, that requires feedback, that requires a teacher or other um, professional who can per guide the kids through various kinds of activities that are going to help them figure out how this system works. And, and again, trying to do that remotely, uh, the, the, the amount of quality, instruction, uh, of quality instruction that could take place was very limited. And for learning to read, that's a really crucial element. It's not the only thing, but it is crucial. So I think talking with people who are in the schools over the last several couple of years, uh, the message I got was, this is a generation of kids who have delays related to spoken language and reading and that we're going to be seeing this play out over the coming decades.